Hi guys, welcome to our first virtual learning environment. You guys already know this, it's just like an iLearn. I'm gonna go over a few examples. You're gonna do it, there's gonna be a self-check, and then you're gonna be done with this lesson. So it's not really a new lesson. All we are doing is reviewing our rational expressions unit, which we were in the middle of before spring break. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, please remember, and this is also under module 10's um, pictures, anchor, uh, concept charts. Remember when you simplify, multiply, and divide, you have restrictions. We don't care what is in the numerator. We just are going to restrict what is in the denominator. And remember what your um, steps are. It's all about factoring. And then after we factor, it's easy to see what the restrictions are gonna be in the denominator and cancel or simplify. And you can only cancel things on top that match with something on the bottom. All right, so let's jump in. So here's our first example, and here's how I'm gonna do this. Please remember, if I go too fast, you can pause it. I'm gonna work pretty fast because I know you have that pausing capability. So here we go. I'm gonna jump in over here, and here's our first example. Rational Expressions Review Part 1. Please take notes with me on your own notebook paper and follow along. And I am going to do those exact steps that we talked about. So the first thing is to always factor. So I really hope that you guys recognize that the numerator was a perfect squared trinomial. So we are going to just go ahead and factor the numerator, which is two of these. And the denominator is going to be x plus 4 and then x plus 5. Let me go ahead and put my grouping symbols. Step two, remember for step two, we have to figure out what the restrictions are in the denominator. And the only restriction we have is that the zero, we cannot have zero in the denominator. So remember, what would make this expression equal a zero? It would be a negative four. So x cannot equal a negative four. Same for this. What would make that expression zero? Negative five. So we know this cannot be negative five. And then our third step, is to remember a rational expression is just a fraction anyway, and we always have to simplify our fractions. So I'm gonna grab my canceling crossing out pencil or pen, and I'm going to go ahead and cross out what matches on top and bottom. So remember when we write our final answer, you've gotta include your restrictions. So remember x, cannot equal a negative four and a negative five. And always, just a little reminder, I still do appreciate if you box in your final answer and if you happen to have a highlighter, that would be amazing. And this is example one.